not been to one of my classes before. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah. tell, um, I'm gonna explain a little bit of where I've come from, a little bit of the background, and how we kind of got here today. So, firstly, my name is Antonia. To be reminded there as well. Um, Leafy Greens has been open for five and a half years. I was brought up a vegetarian, always eating from our gardens with a bit of an Italian background. So always wanted to eat seasonally and eat beautiful produce. We really look forward to tomato season and eggplant season and really ate by the seasons. And that's something that we should be reminded of today. Um, I then studied at university in Australia and at Stellenbosch. And then I went to the United States and I went to a place called Hippocrates Health Institute. And that is an institute where people go, 100 people check in every week and more now, to go on a raw vegan diet loaded with greens and sprouts and things like that. And most people who go there are ill. They're struggling with a life-threatening um, disease. And after literally a couple of weeks on this type of diet, they come out and 99% of them are healed. And I went just to learn and to see what they were actually teaching there and my life was completely changed after the three weeks that I spent there. Seeing the woman that I was sharing a room with, she was actually from um, Canada and she was a small lady. She had a Haitian background and she had diabetes and a whole bunch of other chronic illnesses and she, bought, she was brought in in a wheelchair. And after the three weeks, she was very sick. I mean, at night she was throwing up and she they had to bring her food to the room and she was very, very ill. And after the three weeks at our graduation program where they we stood up and said how our, li our lives had changed and the experiences that we'd had, she was doing jumping jacks like this. She was dancing like that at the, at the, the graduation. And after three weeks of an alkaline diet, how someone's life can change so drastically I actually called my father from there and I said, I know I have to spread this word. I have to come back to South Africa. I didn't even really do that much market research. We fortunately had the space. We just opened the cafe and I learned from there as well. And I've, I've come across lots of beautiful people who've continued to teach me and I'm still learning all the time. But I knew that I had to bring this message back to South Africa and teach people how to get back to basics, which is very suitable for our class today and how to get in touch with themselves again, in touch with their food. We just get sick and we go to a doctor and then we trust that they're gonna give us what we need to get better. And we just take whatever pharmaceuticals they give us. We don't even look at the, the side effects or the ingredients or anything like that. We go to a store and we buy stuff because we're really busy and we just need to feed our families and we're not reading ingredients. And then we're waking up one morning and we're going, oh my gosh, I feel terrible, I'm overweight, I've got this illness. I'm dealing with this 